Howdy, Possum Patty here. It's April 20th and I'm nature journaling right out by the front porch. I stopped here because I saw a little blue violet blooming right next to the garden. So I wanted to check that out. Here I am right by the front porch and there's this blue wild violet growing. And it's very close to those domesticated violas that are descended from viola tricolor. But this is the wild variety and I'm trying to determine what it is I've got my Wildflowers in the Field and Forest Guide to Northeastern United States here. And it says that if the flower is stalked above the leaves, it's a marsh violet. But if it's not stalked above the leaves, it's a common blue violet. So this one does not look like it's above the leaves. So I'm going to go with common blue violet. I'm sketching this little violet here. And I did it in pencil, but you probably can't see that. So I'm going to make it a little darker. This is the mid vein here of the leaf. The bottom of the leaf. The mid vein always goes down to the stem in this kind of a leaf. And the leaf comes out like this, like a heart. And the edges are very wavy. Comes up to a little point. And I can see some of the larger veins. These are going up. But down here, they go a little bit differently. And now the flower stem comes up and around. And then top petals are like wings going backwards. The other side. And there's a little part of the flower back there by the sepals. are going way forward on this one. And the bottom petal is hanging way down. I can see the little white patch and the stripes there. And there, and there, and one more lateral petal. And these, you can also see the white patches. And I will color this inside. Now I'm wondering if these are going to be new violets right there. So I'm going to put that in the I wonder category and these have a little stem with two leaves. 
and they're all around. I'm going to note that here. Okay, so this is the by front porch. And this is the common blue violet. And my question is, are these seedlings? Always good to have a question. Another thing I want to check out are the little goblet moss because it looks like the sporophytes are getting dry, so I want to see if they got their goblet shape. So I brought out my zoomy. I'm going to take a couple of pictures. If I can find some dried one. Oh, there's one. So out by the front porch, I had sketched the common blue violet and wondered about the little seedlings that were growing underneath, if they were going to be violets also. And then I had gone over by the sidewalk to check out the goblet moss to see if the sporophytes had dried into the shape of a goblet yet, when the battery on my camera went dead. I went in the house to get a new battery, and when I came out, what I noticed was was these two little insects making whoopee. Here's some more of those insects having a grand old time on my front porch. Before I came back inside, I looked for a viola that I thought was making seeds. I picked it and brought it inside to take a closer look. So I'm just checking my violas here to see if any of them are making seeds. Reminds me of late last summer when I went to a sunflower field and there was a little boy said to his mom, oh, that sunflower's dead because the bright petals had started to fade and curl. So I walked up to the sunflower and I said, oh, look at this one, it's making seeds. I just wanted him to get a little bit different perspective of what happens in the life of a flower. First I sketched it with the old petals on, then I pulled off the petals and just sketched it so I can see the large ovary developing with the five sepals. Looking at it under the zoomy, it looked like a few of the stamens were still attached to the side of it. It reminded me of a watermelon with the shape and the coloring. I had never done this before, but I pulled open one of the sections. It has three sections and peeked inside. And what I saw were little white seeds. I know from watching these flowers last year that when the seeds are ready, this part will split open into three parts and the seeds will be brown and then they'll scatter. So even though I went two steps from the front door, not a big adventure like I had yesterday, I saw some interesting things. I identified the common blue violet, 
I checked on the sporophytes of my goblet moss. I saw some mating insects. Now I think these are crane flies, maybe winter crane flies. And I investigated seeds that were developing inside the violas. Thanks for coming along on this very short journey today. Bye-bye. <laughs>